Okay, so guys, the reason I'm dressed up like this is because of the latest short film that I made. Um, you can check it out right here. And it was really fun to do, especially wearing these and uh, using this. Well, it was more fun in post-production because I was like... And this is a water gun. I used it in my, uh, my, uh, my... What was it called again? My, my, ah, in my audio mixing tutorial. Yeah, that's where I use this gun, not the glasses, the gun. Yeah, because it's a water gun. So anyway, I'm just gonna take these off now because I don't need them. Okay, so guys, you saw in the preview of this video, I was being punched by a green fist. So, um, that is from the, uh, the, um, short I did with, with Brandon, um, which was Quicksilver vs. Green Lantern. Today, we're doing the Green Lantern effect because I already did the Quicksilver effect. So, you can just watch the video here, or, you know, you can just go to my channel and watch it from there. And subscribe because it's fun doing that. So, guys, the fist is easy. I just found this object in Power Director and it looked like a Facebook like button, but it's not like copyrighted. It looks different. Anyway, and you can go into Tint in the Enhance tab. And you'll see it is turned green mostly, and then you can then you can uh, go into hue and change it to the green. Then after that, you double click on it or click modify on the clip. Open up border and mess with the settings in there. I put the f uh, the blur up a little bit. So there, then you have a fist, you can put, reposition it and stuff, and then you just position it to where your actor is falling over. So that's done for the fist. Okay, so now for the other Green Lantern effect where you can freeze your actor. So first, trim the end of the clip where you want your actor to freeze, and then take a snapshot at the end of the clip. Then drag the snapshot behind the clip Right click on the snapshot or the image, edit image in photo director, click on that and then once you're in photo director, click edit, background removal, select the area around your actor which is basically masking out your actor. Turn off intelligent if you want more precise because sometimes the intelligent isn't always that smart. Click on selected area, click apply, back. Then once you're in power director again, drag the image below the snapshot, click modify, border, and then just mess with the settings to your own likings. Of course I chose green because green lantern, obviously. And then you're done. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all later for the next tutorial. Don't forget to request. I've been getting requests. That's good. And I'll see you all later. Bye!